Hey guys, and welcome back to Super Mario. Let's have a little look around here. What's this house? What is this? Oh, right. It's a free stamp. Excellent. We'll certainly be having that now. Thank you, fairy. Oh, actually, I was going to say we could jump on her head. Just for the lols. We'll leave her live for now. Oh, she's gone. Okay. Let's go gamble some stuff. See if we can uh, get ourselves a decent amount of lives. Because all those lives matter. All lives matter, yo. Oh. Ooh, 200. That's two lives. It's not bad. How much is a life worth in the Mario Kingdom? 100 gold coins, apparently. I don't know if that's a good deal or not, to be honest. Right. Anyway, let's go. We are playing as Luigi. Should we swap over to Mario? We haven't played as Mario yet, have we? Um, let's keep, well, no, we have. We, we did start off. No, we didn't start off as Mario, did we? I can't remember. Right, okay. Now, these piranha plants, we can actually grab them and take them for a little stroll, which is kind of cool. Now, you need to be a little bit vigilant and keep it. Oh, dear. I've killed everything. And look at these uh, shadows over here. You see? Shadows reveal all. Or at least, shadows reveal lots of things. Let's kill these, like, little... I don't know what these guys are called. Fuzzles or something? Might not be called Fuzzles. I can't remember. Let's just grab up these coins. Just for prosperity reasons. And we'll go take our piranha plant for a, for a little walk. Our pet piranha plant. Oh. Oh, God. That one's slinging fire at us. Luckily, this piranha plant apparently can eat fireballs, which I'd forgotten about. All right, it's enough out of you. Oh, jeez. Okay, this piranha plant knows what's up. So it's all good. Now, the shadows here are rather excellent, as we can see. Halfway. Excellent. Let's keep going. Hmm, this looks spoopy. Nice bit of shadow action. Well, let's eat those fuzzle things. Get some coins. Ah, oh, right. Yes, yes. Well, I think we need to be Cat Mario here. We do, because we can grab that. Sweet. Now, sadly, we have lost our faithful friend. But that's okay. That's okay, because we can cause untold amounts of destruction. Now, what else have we got going on? We've got some piranha plants. Right, we want this sleeping one. Okay, that didn't quite go to plan. That's fine. Because that will allow us uh, to get the star. Oof. Okay. Just made it. Let's get our cat power back. Destroy these guys. Oh, he says as he gets brutally annihilated. Oh, the humanity. The humanity indeed. Okay, well, that's fine. So we have everything. Now, this star is kind of slyly hidden. If we go through here, we can see a terrified toad. I think that's Captain Toad. Either that or it's one of his men. One of the two. Unfortunately, Bowser is terrifying him. Or is he? Yeah, he was just being a bit of a wuss. Bless him. Luckily, he's going to give us a star for our troubles. So, you know. Cheers, Toad. Now, let's get out of here. We don't have any power-ups. This is a little frustrating. Yeah, no power-ups, dude. That's no good. But that's okay. We don't need them. Uh, what's through this door, then? Oh, right. Okay. All right. Well, that wasn't exactly that super secret now, was it? All right. Well, <sighs> perfect. That will do. That will do. Actually, there's something that I did forget about this level that I will show off. But I... Ah, I think we need the cat suit to do it. Well, let's go back to the first world. 
Let's see if we can get a cat suit. Right, luckily we can travel from world to world with the map, which is quite nice. Certainly saves time. Anywho, alright, let's go grab us up some items. Here's this toad house. Hopefully we'll get what we want from here. Yes! Take that. Another lucky find. Cheers, Toad. Actually, for your trouble. We bounce on his head. He doesn't seem to appreciate that too much. Fireballs he seems to enjoy. Bit of a bit of a strange one is that toad. See you later, uh, yellow toad. I'm sure we'll be back at some point. Okay, cool. So now, we're powered up and go back to world two. And yeah, I'm sure. Thinking about it, uh, yeah. If we go back into here, there's a little Easter egg. Let's go. If we. Yeah, there we go. Look, in the shadow, you can see a little um, 2D Luigi. That's kind of cool. I, I vaguely remembered that. Okay, cool. I remember finding that by accident. Now, let's keep exploring. Oh, there's a hidden life on this level as well. Or on this world map, if we actually run around and grab another one up and you can't have enough one ups let's be fair one ups seem to make the mushroom kingdom go round right now we're on ah this one Really rolling hills. Let's see if I can remember where everything is on this level. Now this stage is wicked. I'm sure actually there's some slyly hidden um, stuff on this level. Look at the like the ponds with the fish in it and stuff. It's so good. Do you know I really like to play that new Kirby game actually. I played the demo and it was fun. I just love the design of these levels. So just really cool. You climb the trees, go for a bounce, and some. Right, let's grab up some more. Just reminds me of a simpler time playing these Mario games. Hey, that was the first one. Sweet. We shall certainly have you. Ooh. See this big M here? We need to be Mario to activate that. That was kind of lucky, actually. If we were any other character, we would have had to have come back. But that's cool. I mean, I totally planned that. Honest, I did. Now, we've got some more mices. Let's go take out the mices. Shame, they're probably just having a bit of fun, you know? Chilling, maxing, relaxing, just rolling their rolling hill. And we have to come along and just murder them. Pretty horrendous when you think about it. I mean, if you think about it, they won't actually hurt us unless we walk into them. So who exactly is the bad guy here? Huh? Because from where I'm sitting, I don't always buy the fact that it's the critters that are the bad guys. Pretty sure Mario is uh has got a bit of a bit of a dark side to him, I think. Now, why does this tennis ball ring a bell? Uh, why does this tennis ball ring a bell? Well, it's gone now, so I guess it can't ring that much of a bell, can it? Now, what's this way? Sweet. I might to do the new Pokemon game either that's coming out, but... I don't know, man. I had Pokemon Sword and Shield, and... Uh, I wasn't I wasn't mega sold on that one to be honest. It was okay. But it was I don't know, there was something about it. I I really had to force myself to finish that one. Ooh, hello. Look at all these baby goombas. Uh that's not good. Kill them! Kill them all! Especially the children. Always kill the children. You don't want them coming back. 
especially if you've killed the parents, because then they'd be out for revenge and stuff. And you don't really want any of that business. Come on. Uh, come on, Mario. Don't be difficult. There we are. Nothing up here by the look of things. Perplexing. We should have at least had another star by now. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Ah. Wait a bit. I've got a feeling there's a secret here somewhere. If we wait for long enough. I'm sure. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe it's another one. I'm sure there's some stuff in one of these. Maybe I'm thinking of another level. Alright, well, uh, whatever. We can always come back. Yeah, I'm sure, somewhere. There's a sneaky look. Ah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll come back and get them all. Whoop. I don't know what these little Goombas are called. They don't really look like the Garn variety Goomba, to be honest. These spiky mice. Ah, wait, hang on. Got a feeling this... Yes, this is one. Okay, cool. These are wicked, these levels. Where you've got to change the colour of the blocks. Big fan of these levels. Oh, come on, dude. Really? Mario. Look, you've been doing this since, what, 1986? However old Mario is. Right, is that the last one? No, okay, we're good. We're still in business. We are still on track. Let's get rid of you. Oh. Okay, that, that works out. It almost didn't, but you know what? I meant to do that. Naturally, meant to do that. That was all Mario, baby. Or something. Alright, what have we got in here? Ooh, no! Okay, that's cool. Okay, luckily, if we pick up a shroom and we've got better power-ups, uh, it doesn't override them, which is pretty sweet. Looking forward to seeing what the reaction to me uploading this is going to be. Because I don't... I think it's going to come out of left field. I have heavily hinted over the years of um, about what a big Mario and Zelda fan I am. <laughs> but I've never done them. Alright, cool. Ooh, we've got a big boy. This should actually tell us what it's called. Uh, press B on the red course start screen to change characters. Yep. Each character has a different jump power and run speed. Be sure to try them all. We are. Thanks, game. So, what's this guy called? This should tell us. Oh, Big Goombla. Okay, and I would love to do Paper Mario Thousand Year Door as well. Get the hell out of here, dude. Yeah, you ain't... Oof, is me talking tough. Get my ass stomped. That'll do Alright. So. Now we have. The next. I mean this. This one. Oh. We got a question mark block over here. I think these question mark blocks. Are always. Uh, just single coins on the overworld. You don't ever get any power ups or anything. Which is a shame. So. Got you done. Ah, yeah, so we've got five stars to squeeze out of this. Mystery House Melee. Alright. Let's -a go. Welcome to the Mystery House. There's one star in each room, so do your best to get them all. Good luck. Now, some of these actually are pretty challenging, but let's go. So, kill these two guys. It's fairly easy. 
These almost remind me a little bit of WarioWare because they throw you in a room, you've got 10 seconds to quickly work out what you've got to do and where you're going. Oh, this one looks like it's fairly straightforward because it's mystery melee. Oh, that was suboptimal. Let's power up. Hey, Cat Mario's. Oh, nice. That is just what the doctor ordered. Very nice. Ah. I do remember actually having problems with some of these. I don't think it was this one though. This one's fairly easy, obviously. Alright. Bloody turtle bastards! Got him. Not bad. That's all five. Happy with that. So you start getting these stars pretty quick to at least to start off with anyway. That will change. Right, so what have we got here? Double cherry pass. Now, this is where things start getting a little bit interesting. Because these cherries are an interesting game mechanic. The more cherries we collect, uh, it doubles the amount of Marios we have. And you actually need these Marios. And it gets, it gets, it becomes a thing, a whole thing. There's a level that I'm actually on, on my personal playthrough at the moment. That I'm, I'm not stuck, so I haven't really had a go at it. But I don't know how the frick I'm going to do it. Because there are certain gates where you need a certain amount of characters. I uh, probably didn't want that. Okay. Okay. Um, Mario, can, can you come back, please? Dude, thanks. Yeah, try and keep your Marios together. Alright, that'll work. Okay, so I don't think there's anything here. Alright. Trying to keep your Marios together is the worst. Now, the thing is, if, oh nice, um, it obviously doubles up our firepower, but if you get hit once, um, one of your Marios will die. Now, it begs the question, which one is the original Mario? We may never know. <laughs> so yeah, keeping all these guys together. Uh, is yeah a bit a bit of a challenge to say the least. Oh come on Mario, come on! There we go. Oof. So what have we got next? Oh, I remember these guys. That's fine. We've got lots of firepower. We can fire three times the amount of fireballs. So. That's certainly going to help our cause. Right, see how we need two Marios to make the green star up here. I actually forgot that that was the green star. I thought it was the... Uh, <laughs> um, what do you call it? Not the green star. Stamp. Oh, yeah. Cool, we're all here. Nice. So we need the stamp and we need another green. Alright, that's fine. And there's more cherries there. Which, yeah, when you start getting like four and five, it starts getting confusing, dude. Remember when I said five? Oh, man. I'm surprised the game never seems to slow down. It's very impressive. And I've just completely bought that up. Because... Yeah, shit, you need... Ah, right, no, I haven't. Okay. Balked it up again. So we need one Mario up there. And we need to get the other ones... Uh, to kind of bonk him up. Kind of difficult when you have so many. <laughs> right, one, two, three, four. Just do this slowly. That's it. Slow and steady wins the race. Or something. 
All right, come on, Mario. You're slacking. That'll do nicely. Right. You're done, son. Now, where is... The last star? That's the question. Now... Oh, cool. It does actually transport all of you through. That's kind of good to know. And we are running out... Ah, we need four here on this. That's one of those gates I was saying about. So you need... If, you'd, if we'd actually got here with, say, three or two or even one, wouldn't have been enough to finish the stage. So that's pretty sketchy. <laughs> really fun missions, though, to be fair. Really fun levels. So what's left on this map? I'm pretty sure we've got a straight shot of the castle next. Now, as you can see, the game is really easy so far, but it won't stay like this. It will get to the point where it starts punching us and fisting us in the ass. But luckily, we're not there yet. So if we go here and push... Right. Ah! We are missing a star. Before we go do the castle. Ah, right! Interesting. So we're missing the middle star here. Right, okay. Now, I'd like to have cat power, really. So, where would... Ah, nice. We've got cat power. So, if I remember correctly, the first star is there. Okay. So, where... Um... Hmm. I can't remember where the other star is. That's alright, well, we'll go for a wander. See what we can find. Hopefully not drown in quicksand. Okay. Guess we don't really need to get all these again, do we? We just need to... There's nothing here. Get you out of it. Star. If I was a star. There's a... No, that's not a door. Um. Potentially. Potentially up here. Let's have a look. Come on, Mario. This ain't our first rodeo, brother. Ugh, oh, it! You would think it might be, though. Ooh! Kinda wasn't expecting that, but alright. I dare you. I dare you! Go on. If you got the balls. So. Wait! There was a... We got that, though, didn't we? Hey, how did we get that? We got that. We definitely got that star. 110%, yo. I'm calling extreme levels of bollocks on that. But hey, whatever. It's fine. We definitely got that star, didn't we? I am much confused, wow. Well, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. We've got it now. So let's go take on the castle. 45. So, that should be... World 2. Right, there's a hidden level. Ah, oh, of course there's a hidden level. That's a hidden toad house. We don't need to play with a toad house. Yes, there's a hidden level here somewhere. Question is where? We've done you. 
we've done you. We've done you. Now, if I was a hidden level... Huh. Oh, right, no, I think that just means the castle. Okay, in which case we're good. There are hidden levels on some of these maps. But they're not really that hidden. They're pretty easy to find. You would have thought the castle would have been at the end. Now, this one is actually quite tough. Especially going through to get everything, because it's a rolling level. And I love my rolling levels. Said nobody ever. Right, okay. Oh, God. Now, somewhere... There is... A block that we can grab. That we can stick on our head. There we go. And we need this. Can't remember why we need this, but I know we need this. I mean, that kind of helps. Right. Ah, there's the Prana Plant. The Prana Plant? What a Goomba I am. There is the first star. We'll have that. Now, we do need this cannon. I remember we need this cannon. I just can't remember what we need it for. Okay, everything's going well so far. Just blast those guys. Come on, wait for the spikes, wait for the spikes. Second start. Nice, got it. Wait, can we grab those stars by shooting them? I did not know that. I'm thoroughly tickled by this knowledge. Okay, so there we have... Yeah, we can. We can grab stuff by shooting it. Which is really curious. Got bullet bills flying everywhere. Alright, well, we're doing okay so far. Ah, oh, that's what we need it for. I remember now. You need to get this, because if we get hit, we lose this cannon. But we have to take it all the way to the end of the level. Nice. I remember having some problems with this level uh, when I first did it. I don't know why. Come get some. Yeah, we're not that scared of this guy. He's kind of a jerk. I think we've got to wait for him to get dizzy. Yeah, wait for him to get dizzy. Oh, not good. Two's the magic number. You can't hurt... Oh, yeah. Forgot he goes invisible. You can't hurt him with... Oof. Fireballs or anything like that. It has to be with arse pound. Get out of here, dude. You're done, son. Mass that world polished off. Two worlds down. I forget how many there is. I think there's eight. There might be more. Second fairy rescued. Who's been stuffing them in these bottles? Oh, it was Bowser, wasn't it? You Forgive me. I, I would have assumed it was Link. There we go. Mario conquers once again. All your bases are belong to us. Right. Not bad. Slowly filling out the uh, tickets. Or stickers. Whatever you want to call them. Now, our little fairy friend's going to come along and build us a new bridge. To the next world. Thank you. Right, come on, Mario. Let's have a little look at our next world. Yeah, we. Ne I was um, slightly disappointed with this game that we never actually got a nice beach-themed area. We do get beach-themed levels. There's a couple of them, but there's no beach-themed area, sadly. Right. 
World 3. Here we are. And this music is absolutely wonderful. Anyway, guys, we're going to have to leave it for now. When we come back, we're going to start exploring this ice world. Till then, guys. Thanks for watching.